Hello students, welcome back to my channel. This class for the student of class 3A and you know our subject is mathematics. So we are in the chapter addition. In the previous video we have discussed exercise 2.3. Today we will discuss a new topic that is some problems from the exercise 2.3 and properties of addition of four digit numbers exercise 2.4 oral addition and exercise 2.5 now please open page number 33 and we will discuss some problems from the exercise 2.3 from the last that is given in question number four regroup, regroup the numbers and write in a standard form some problems only four problems we will discuss because this is the very important problems for the entire enter the syllabus okay now we will discuss the question number 4 d 4 d right the question says regroup the numbers and write in a standard form so we have to start from the 16 ones 16 ones means 1 10 and 6 ones that is called regrouping so this 1 10 will regroup or will be grouped with 6 tens so 1400 1400 plus 6 so now 16 6 tens 16 ones so it will be 6 10 plus 1 10 plus 6 ones so you know 6 10 plus 1 10 means 7 10 7 tens right plus 6 ones and you know 14 hundreds for 14 hundreds means 1 thousands 1000 plus 4 hundreds so 14 hundreds 6 tens 16 ones it will be 1400 7 tens and 6 one so this is the our standard form right 1476 so now question number e 13 hundreds 25 tens 19 ones so we have to start from the 19 ones 19 ones means 1 10 plus 9 ones right another 25 tens 25 tens means 25 tens means 200 200 plus 5 tens right and 13 hundreds means 1000 plus 300 now in total it will be 1000 plus 300s plus 200s plus 5 tens plus 1 10 plus 9 ones you know this 1000 and 3000 it will be regrouped 200 and 200 uh, sorry sorry 1000 not 300 and 200 it will be regrouped 
five tens and one ten it will be regrouped so answer will be one thousand three plus two means five hundreds and five tens plus one ten means six tens and plus nine ones that means the standard form will be one five six nine that is one thousand five hundred sixty nine right so answer will be 1569 now question number i it says 1800s 11 10s and 12 ones so 12 ones means 110 plus 2 ones 12 one means 11 one means 100 plus 110 1800 means 1800 and 800s now write them in all So it will be one thousand plus eight hundreds plus one hundred plus one ten plus one ten plus two ones. Now regroup them. So eight hundred and one hundred it will be regrouped, and one ten and one ten it will be regrouped. So it will be one thousand plus nine hundreds because eight plus one because they are in the same group. One ten and one ten they are also in the same group. So it will be added. Now eight plus one that means nine hundreds, and one plus one it will ten hundred. Two tens, and the last one is two ones. So answer will be one thousand nine hundred twenty-two. That is the standard form. Okay. Now question number J. Um, it will make you understand how to solve. Okay. Now we are going to discuss the properties of addition. that is you know we already have discussed that if the order of the addends is changed that sum remains same right we already have discussed for the three three digit numbers now if you uh, if we add uh, four digit numbers we will see you we will show you that uh, in this same in this case the addends if 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 the addends is changed the sum will be same okay suppose i am taking 300 3625 and 2768 okay first i write down 300 3625 and now write to Two thousand seven hundred sixty-eight. Now add them. You will get. So you will get uh, six thousand three hundred ninety-three. Or if you write at the add end that two thousand seven hundred sixty-eight, and now add three hundred three thousand six hundred twenty-five. So you will get also. Five plus eight is thirteen. So now carry over one to the next plus. So six plus two, and it's, it will be nine. Six plus seven, it also be three, thirteen, and carry over one. Three plus two is five, and five plus one is six. So in the both cases, the sum will remain. The sum will be same. Okay. So order doesn't matter. So order. doesn't matter for the three digit number also and four digit number also and if you uh, if you add the four digit number five digit number six digit number here will be same the order does not matter for the addition it will matter for the subtraction okay you have to know it will matter for the subtraction but in the addition the order doesn't matter if you add uh, the third with one And then two, you will get same answer. If you add one with two and then three, then you will get the same answer. So order doesn't matter. Now, the second property. The second property says we already have discussed the, for the three-digit numbers. So I told you that if you add any number to the zero or zero to the any number, you will get the same number. Okay. So now I'm discussing for four-digit numbers. Here I choose one thousand four hundred fifty-six and add with zero. You will get the one thousand four hundred fifty-six. That is the number itself. 
and if you add 0 to the 100, 1456 you will get the, uh, 1456 that's itself okay that is uh, that's why I said the if we add 0 to the any number or any number to the 0 you will get the same number same number means itself okay now property 3 if you three or more numbers are added together the sum remains same even their grouping is changed if i change the group you will get the same number okay that means if i change their order you will get the same number right if you three or more numbers are added together you will get the same number or if i uh, regroup their numbers you will get the same number okay now uh, Suppose I'm taking 2,471, then 1,356. If I add first, then you will get 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, then plus 1, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3. Then uh, add 4,000. 213 7 plus 3 is 10 now 1 2 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 2 plus 8 is 0 that means 10 then plus 1 that is 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 so answer will be 8040 if you add If you add first 1356 with 4213, you will get 6 plus 3 is 9, 5 plus 1 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 4 plus 1 is 5. Now add with uh, 2471. So you will get 9, 1 plus 9 is 0, that is plus 1. So 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 6 is 14 then carry over 1 to the next place so 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 plus 1 5 plus 5 is 10 then again plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 5 is 8 so if you see if the order is or if the order is changed then sum will be same that is if you if the three or more numbers three or five or six and more numbers are added together the sum remains same right now now we are solving exercise 2.4 in the exercise question number one says fill in the blanks so question number a here is a space you have to fill up this the question number a says 2459 plus 1813 equal to 1813 plus the dash you know if you add 2459 with 1000 813 you will get whatever the result if you add 1813 with 2459 you will get the same result okay that means the order doesn't matter so answer will be 2459 whatever you get after addition you will get the same number after addition this these two terms okay that's why we said that order of the addition order of their add-ins doesn't matter similarly 4597 equal to 1591 so it is given 4597 so here it will be 1591 because the same result same logic so the logic is the orders doesn't matter in the addition so here Question number C, 9,251 plus 123 plus uh, 111. So you will get uh, 111 plus 9,251. And here it will be 123. Because I told you, if three or more numbers are added together, the sum remains same. Even if their grouping is changed. Here the grouping is changed. So you will get the same result we also have proved right 
so question number d it will be also 2153 same logic here also this question number e 783 400 4169 in the both cases it is given here is 2000 for two, uh, 241 but here is dash so it will be 2241 and so it will be 783 so answer will be this okay question number f says if you add zero with any number if you add zero to the any number or any number to the zero you will get this number itself so number itself means 5248 okay here it will be same 6435 right okay now arrange the numbers in columns and add them in three different ways uh, what do you observe okay let's move to the question number 2a 2a it says uh, add them 271 now uh, now I am adding 271 to the 125 you will get 6 9 3 now add with 98 you will get 8 plus 6 is 14 that means plus 1 here so 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 9 is 9 that means 19 and here also be 1 so 1 plus 3 it will be 4 so you will get 4000 sorry 494 if the order is changed suppose 125 add with 125 to the 98 you will get 8 plus 5 is 13 then 1 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 1 is 12 then plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 then add with 271 so you will get 3 plus 1 is 4 7 plus 2 is 9 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so you will get the same result now if you add uh, 271 with 98 so 8 plus 1 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 then plus 1 you will get 3 now add which number 125 9 plus 5 is 14 so plus 1 here so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 6 is 9 and 3 plus 1 is 4 so if I add the numbers in column in three different ways we get or I get the same result okay now the next part that is we already have discussed overall addition suppose uh, suppose add 40 and 50 because we can add orally when we can add orally when the numbers or the addends are in the same group so you have to find them they are they in same group yes for in this in this question 40 and 50 they are in the same group they are in the which group tens group that's why you have to uh, add only this uh, these two values 4 and 5 in this question so 4 plus 5 is 9 and write down the 0 also so this is the this is the addition this is the result okay if you add with 400 and 500 so what will be the answer are they in the same group yes which group hundreds group they are in the hundreds group so it will be added orally and very easy so you have to add 4 with 5 so you will get 4 plus 5 is 9 and write them two zeros after 9 okay then suppose 100 1000 add 1000 5000 and 6000 add them 1000 
to the 5000 to the 6000 okay you know they are all in the same group which group thousand group so you have to add one with five with six okay so one plus five is six six plus six is twelve write down twelve and after twelve how many zeros three zeros write down three zeros so answer will be twelve thousand right this is the oral addition now now we are going going to solve exercise 2.5 that is add orally 40 question a says 40 plus 30 yes they are in the same group that is the tens group so 40 plus 30 so it will be 70 because 4 plus 3 is 7 and write down 0 after 7 question number b yes the three numbers three uh, numerals are in the same group they are all in the tens group so it will be uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 plus 3 is 8 now it will be 80 yes very good and question number c yes they are also question number c says they are also they are all in the hundreds group so it will be 5 plus 3 and 8 plus 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9 so it will be 900 question number d yes they are all in the thousand group so 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 so it will be 8000 right question number e says they are all in the tens group so it will be added orally uh, so 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so it will be 60 yes the next time will be 900 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 4 is also 900 40 plus 10 plus 20 so it will be 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 4 is 70 90 plus 500 sorry 900 plus 500 so it will be 1400 right and the last one 2000 plus 3000 because they are in the thousands group so 2 plus 3 is 5000 okay that's all for today uh, hope you have enjoyed the class if you have any doubt please ask me in the class okay in the next video we will discuss the word problems so please keep learning and follow this video thank you